but paddling out to my spot and uh, just come across a patch of car wire so I'm going to try and catch some bait. Oh, he's turned me around. <laughs> oh, I love fishing for kawaii when they're on the surface like this. Man, they're strong. So fun on this light gear. Uh. Uh. Oh, look at them all around me. And they're good sized kawaii too. Oh, now he knows it's hooked. Man, I won't be surprised if that won't be surprised if that bronzy shows up soon. It's a bit of one. Oh, he got off. No, he didn't. Oh, he is.
<laughs> Little Okuma 30 does the damage. I was getting tired now, about time to go catch some snapper I think. Another good fish, man. Oh, yeah. <sighs> so once I had enough car wire to run the smoker, I decided to move out to some deeper water and try and targeting some snapper. Unfortunately I wasn't blessed with time that day and uh, didn't have the luxury of staying out there as long as I'd have liked to so I had to cut it short and headed back in, called it a day. But while I was out there I did manage to pick up a gurnard so my efforts didn't go unnoticed. Two little snapper to go back. Beautiful colours. Better fish, not quite, it's probably legal, but I'll throw them back. That's our first big carway. Ready for the smoker? You guys gonna do the next one? Yeah! We've got some uh, gold bars out of one of the car wires, so we're gonna put those in the smoker. Yeah! And have some fun! No, salt and pepper on all the fish. Yeah, yeah you're doing. So I just got the kids um, getting the fire ready. Just doing some quick bloody uh, campfire toasties. Nothing too flash, pretty uh, budget ingredients because I don't want to go and buy heaps of stuff because we're going away for the week. So just using what we had really. One thing I always have in the truck is just some cooking gear, eh? It's pretty simple. It doesn't take up that much space, but just makes it that much easier when you decide to go and do stuff like this. You've already got all the stuff in the truck, especially when you've got kids. You know, if you're doing a big drive and they start getting hungry and getting grumpy, you can just pull over and cook some food, you know. It's so simple. And um, 
food always tastes better outside anyway so those people who have got the space i recommend just keeping either a little gas cooker or even just a, um, one of those jet boils you don't have to go and buy the jet boil branded one but uh, you can get cheap ones at the warehouse or you know they're basically the same thing and um, just having the ability to be able to cook it's it's quite important for us anyway Yeah, some fresh chilies. Smoked kahawai from the other day fishing. So we're just going to break that up, chuck it in. This is a spicy one, but since I'm diluting it with other ingredients, it shouldn't be too bad for the kids. But this was a spicy smoked fish. Oi. So just break some of that up, chuck it in there. Save the rest for later, I guess. Chuck a bit of choys in there. And to make a bit of a sauce, some uh, aioli. Don't look too bad. Sweet. All right, let's go and check on this fire, see how the kids are doing. No one's screaming yet, so there's been no injuries. Actually, if you guys have got kids, I highly recommend um, teaching them how to light fires and play with fire. I did it heaps as a kid and got told off, but I think being around fire, learning from mistakes, and um, learning how, how destructive and how harmful it can be at an early age, I think is really good. So we've always let the kids play with fires, supervised obviously, same with knives, um, we'll let them cut up their own food and play with, not play with knives, but use knives. And I think it's a really good skill to, to teach them at a young age. Some parents may disagree, but meh, they're not my parents. Yeah, no, that's all right. You wanna go and get some more wood? Anyway, where was I? Yes, yes, yes. Well, some semi good news. Um, Nearly burning the food. Alright, that's done. Yes, where was I? Yes, send me good news, send me good news. Those of you who may or may not be aware that um, getting a new boat, good news is the boat is nearly done. Well, no, it is done. Bad news is I can't go and get it because I'm going away on holiday. Typical. Um, anyway. New boat, obviously means new name, and I've got a few ideas, but I don't really. So, if you, if any viewers got any good ideas, good boat names, leave them in the comments section below. And I don't know, maybe if I decide to pick the name that you put there, or send you some free stuff, or or you can come out fishing. Put the basket on here we have a um, dead porcupine fish or people call them puffer fish so I don't think they're quite a puffer fish this species but anyway this guy's obviously had a had an accident and washed up and died but yeah the spines on them anyway I think they have toxins in the spines or just uh, a lot of bacteria but these guys when they're threatened they swell up full of water and just sort of float around and all these spines prevent what's trying to eat it from eating it i guess <laughs> Yeah. 
Mames, sweet ass. Mine's in the fire. Oh no, that's Paris. I'll go last, don't worry. Oh yeah. You know what I'm going to do guys? Go and see if I can find some oysters. Going to go see if I can find some oysters. Well, we have found some oysters. So I think we're going to grab a few off and I don't know, have a feed maybe. Let's look for some good ones. Nice big juicy ones. Really good. Yeah. Really good. Well. Daddy, are you eating all of them? Yep. Yeah. Crab, eating an oyster. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Crabs. Fair, do you want one? Anyway, catch you next time.